Good morning. I have worn the wrong kind of outfit, but that's okay. Yes, good morning. It is Saturday, um, about 11, I think, a.m. Um, I have a cool afternoon planned. I have my normal ice bath, and then um, I'll have steak for lunch, and then I'm going to an ice hockey game this afternoon. So we're gonna fit this in now. And I was considering doing this inside at home because I don't have a whole lot of time for it. But then I thought it's such a beautiful day. I definitely should come outside and I'm very happy that I have. Um, I have had, how's my week been? It's been a little bit all over the place. Although I feel like that's the same kind of answer I give every week but it has overall been very good. I've, something that I wasn't expecting, I mean, I guess how can you ever expect what's gonna happen? But I have been holding on to this thing that I'm quite ashamed about and it's been kind of in the background for a while and I haven't, I've noticed it, but I haven't really had the courage to do anything about it, or it didn't really, really cross my mind that I should kind of take action in a way that I have. Um, and basically, I've been having, been really struggling with my body image recently um, because my body's really changed a lot in the past few months, and I'm just struggling with that a bit. And I was talking to one of my coaches and really good friends about it yesterday I just opened up and I just said like I'm struggling this is what I'm struggling with this is what I think is making it worse this is what I think this is what I'm worried about and he gave me really good advice and um, pointing me in really helpful directions which I will explore um, but the simple act of sharing it and just opening up and kind of getting it off my chest made me realize that it wasn't something that I should be ashamed about and letting someone else in it's really just taken a weight off of me and it now doesn't feel like my burden it also doesn't feel like some negative big scary shadow in the background it's something that I, yeah I've, I've, I've brought light on it and it just immediately feels less heavy and a lot more something that I can like carry without it dragging me down. Just something that I can work through and it's hard, I'm struggling to explain it, but if I guess there's something that you're ashamed about I encourage you to talk to someone that you think could be helpful, you feel comfortable with, you feel safe with. Um, and it doesn't always have to be like seeking advice or seeking help. It can just be getting it, like kind of sharing the burden almost. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm gonna go into with now, um, yeah. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Moving on. So, I did end up doing my weekly reflection and intention last week after I finished recording the monthly one um, with you guys. I was here, like it was dark when I left. <laughs> so it was good that I stopped filming. Um, because as I was looking back at that video as well, it was very dark. So. We're not going to have that problem today. Um, yeah. Okay. It's a bit warm. So we'll be doing, back to our normal scheduled programming, we'll be doing our weekly reflect and intention setting. Um. Oh, and um, in case you can see that, I don't know if you can, 
Um, my shoulders, it's just, it's a bit injured at the moment, but it looks way worse than it is. It's fine. Okay. So. June. June. That's all I need to say, June. <laughs> okay. End of week reflection. I'm taking my prompts from Dreamy Moons's book, journal, which I've linked in the video description. Ask yourself, what made me truly happy this week? Did I have a good balance between me, time, work, and socializing? Summarize your week in one word, sentence, or phrase. Um,
I have said working it out. <laughs> bit of trial and error, a bit of slowly moving through things and figuring life out if you can even do that. Okay, now uh, looking back on the previous intentions for the week that we set. That we set separately last week. All right. So go back through what you uh, wanted to achieve last week and see how you went and think about um, how you went. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm not tired today. I'm not that tired today. I have no excuse. I have this goal where I really want to like work outside, like come to a park like this, have a coffee, some snacks, and just set my laptop up and like edit and work and write here. Um, but it wouldn't work very well because I need to charge my laptop after about 45 minutes. And I've thought about getting like an external battery and all this stuff and I just I haven't done anything about it. I really would like to. I just feel like that would be such a beautiful environment and like have like a little like chair and maybe even like umbrella. I don't know, a setup of some variety. It just seems like such a beautiful way to work. Like I'm completely location independent, and I just often work from home or in cafes or something, and it's nice. But I also am sick of like spending money in a cafe. I don't want to do that all the time. And this is so much nicer anyway. Logistically, I just feel the resistance. I haven't given it enough. of my intentions from last week I did half half I'm generally on track with my work currently on track with YouTube <laughs> um, because I'm ahead of myself now but I will quickly fall behind if I don't continue to keep that up um, my relationships were good this week personal I didn't do everything that I wanted to do it's good to know looking into the next week so ask yourself what do I intend to accomplish next week Um, and in terms of like break it into categories of health, career, relationships and personal life. So what do you intend to accomplish overall? Write a paragraph or dot points or so and then break things into categories. Be more specific in terms of your health, your career, your relationships, your personal life.
and ask yourself how you will practice self love. I will practice self love by Okay, now we will schedule these intentions into our upcoming week. I just want to share some things that I've been like thinking about recently or that have been applicable ah, applicable to my life I'm um, just trying to get like out of the sun because <laughs> it's so right on camera so what I've been doing for like the past few months is at the top of each page of my journal I've been like writing if I come across a quote or some thought that I find inspiring or helpful in some way I write at the top of each page and I just like flick through until I like until there's a spare page that I haven't written on um, and then when I come to that to write whatever I'm doing I read it and or I'll flick back through and read things that just like inspire me or motivate me or make me think a little bit differently kind of get me out of my head so I want to read some of them to you you can't jump up onto the roof but you can get a ladder and climb up in 14 small steps. So this is in relation to like, if you have a big goal or a dream, you can't just get there straight away. And it would seem impossible to jump up and do it. The roof is too high. But if you have a strategy, have some tactics, have 
little goals along the way that you can work towards and achieve and once you've done this you can work on the next one and the next one and the next one you might find yourself on that roof and I find that really encouraging that task that will take you three minutes just get it done so I often find this with like an email or something that's something that I am putting off I don't want to do I don't respond to someone um, I don't know why I just kind of get like a little bit anxious about it when I finally sit down to do it it takes about three minutes maybe five minutes max ten minutes to do and it's caused me so much anxiety or stress or something and then it's done and I'm like oh my god that did not take long at all it was not worth the stress or anything so just get it done do it you won't think about it anymore and just move on do it at the start of your day go all in if you have a big goal big or small if you have a dream if you have something that you want to do don't half ass it that's the worst thing you can possibly do not just to anyone else who might be helping you along the way, but to yourself. Have more self-respect and go all in. In a similar um, theme, throw yourself into battle. Nothing that's worthwhile is easy. And if these big things we want to do in our lives if they were easy, everyone would be doing it. You know it's gonna be hard, you know it's gonna require struggle and discipline and time and effort and sacrifice, but they're also the things that make it really worthwhile and make you grow and become a better person and become the person that you wanna be and just achieve something that feels fulfilling. So understand what the battle is and throw yourself into it. Find the entertainment value in difficult things. A similar, I suppose, theme to the previous one is that everything in worthwhile is difficult. Everything in worthwhile has some form of challenge. Find the joy in that. You can't avoid the challenge and if you just hate it and you're suffering through it mentally, then it's, the challenge is only gonna become more challenging. You may as well try to see the joy in it, and even if the joy is simply, this is making me better in whatever way. That is joyous. So acknowledge that and look for, even the, and then that sometimes might be coming back to the reason why you're doing it. So if that's going to the gym, remember why you're doing it and find the, find the joy in it. Find the joy in the difficult. You are five minutes from putting your day on a completely different trajectory. And five minutes might even be a stretch, it might even be too long. You could be one minute one decision away from putting your day on a completely different trajectory. This can relate to so many different things, but for me, I often find the impulse to go on social media or in the opposite direction, not wanting to go to the gym. If I go on social media or if I decide to not go to the gym, I will feel shit for the rest of the day because I would, with social media, I would have given myself a taste of it for the day and then I would just find it so much easier to keep giving into that impulse and keep going back on however many times that day. And it's so much harder once I'm in that world, it's so much harder to pull myself out. And then with the gym, if I don't go, if I don't train, I don't get those endorphins. I have, I, it's not that I, it's not even that I then don't get the endorphins from the workout. It's that I, it's that I also have this kind of self-loathing that I have not stuck to what I said that I would do. And 
Like there's probably like a bit of an element that's a bit too severe in my reaction to that. But it's because this commitment that I've made to myself is so important. So I need to, on those days that I don't want to do it, I need to get over myself, suck it up and go. And if I give in to that, which I, boy, it's very rare that I would give in to that resistance, give in to that impulse to not go because I know how important it is to me and um, how crap I would feel afterwards. So basically, if you're having a crap day, you're five minutes away from changing that. You can go outside and take a walk. You can decide to get off social media for the rest of the day. You can decide to push yourself harder in the workout. You can decide to have a meal that really fuels your body. You can, instead of waking up and scrolling straight away, just get up out of bed and get into your day. We think that our once our day is on a certain path, it's going to stay that way. But no, we have so many opportunities to pivot, to change, to fix it or to throw it off track. Life is always somewhat in our control and our reactions and our decisions are always within our control. I think I'm going to leave it there. I will. There's actually an, one of the emails from James Clear this week that I really loved that I'll quickly, I'll quickly share. If any of those quotes or anything that I just read resonated with you, please let me know and let me know like your thoughts, your interpretations on them. If there are things that you've also been mulling over and thinking about recently that have been helping you. Um, because these things are all like obviously really specific to my life. I'm reading from my journal, so it might not be applicable to everyone. But here are some quotes from James Clear that I really loved. So. Firstly, the myth that there isn't enough time. There is plenty of time. There isn't enough focus with the time that you have. You win by directing your attention towards better things. Secondly, the difference between how I feel before my first set in the gym and how I feel after my first set is enormous. You don't even need a full workout or work session to feel good again. You are five minutes away from putting your day on a completely different trajectory. That's where I got that one from. <laughs> Number three, the person who focuses on one task and sees it through to completion, even if they work in a somewhat slow or outdated manner, beats the endless optimizer who jumps from tool to tool and always hope, hopes a new piece of technology will help them finish what they start. And something that I have thought about quite a lot since I read this a few days ago. It's a quote from Jeanette Winterson. It's hard to remember that this day will never come again, that the time is now and the place is here and that there are no second chances at a single moment. And then just to finish the email off, we may as well. One question that you can ask yourself and that I will ponder on. What is something that made you feel proud today? If nothing comes to mind, how can you spend the next five minutes in a way that will make you feel proud? Thank you so much for being with me here today. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself yet again. I hope that you have too. I wish you a really happy and eye-opening week filled with things that challenge you in a really good way and make you grow and 
little scattered moments of mundane happiness and ecstatic excitement. And if you're listening to that thinking, oh my God, that's impossible. It's not. Go out and chase it. Go out and find something to be ecstatically excited about this week. And if it's just one thing, that's amazing. Thank you for being here and I look forward to seeing you next week. See ya.